10 Things Men Can Do To Make Their Women Feel Better During Periods Hello people, how's the weather in your love alley? So it's sunny, other than occasional showers. Nice. But how often do you face storms and what's the reason for it? Ah, we get it. Aunt Flo knocks at your door every month to wreak havoc on your love life. As a man, your first instinct is to hide till your bae's pain in the ass aunt goes away. But while you can take the escape route, we can't, and your running away only makes matters worse for us. And boys, when your girl is riding the crimson wave, it may be the perfect opportunity for you to step up and show her that you are man enough to take care of her. If you have no idea how to go about it, here's our guide to help you through the rocky road. Number one, don't blame her period. Fine, we understand that we get cranky when we are on our period and it gets a little tough for you to handle. Those drastic mood swings are caused by the hormonal shift that our monthly curse gifts us, we know that. But can you stop saying that out loud? Blaming our periods for all the hell we are making you go through won't help. We know we are being unreasonable when we yell at you for getting the bath ready when we wanted a hot water bottle. But don't start over with the blame game. The last thing we want to hear is how our mood swings are unbearable for you. You will just aggravate our crankiness to the next level. Do you want that to happen? Number two, be comfortable with the idea. Are you the guy who freaks out at the mere mention of a woman's menstrual cycle? You'll have to take a chill pill, dude. There is nothing gross about blood. If you get uncomfortable when Bay talks about periods, you need to work on yourself because, hello, you aren't a kid. And BTW, if you continue to watch Game of Thrones after all that bloodletting, you can get used to a natural process. You totally have to stop feeling disgusted about a bodily fluid, unless you feel pukish when you let out some white cream after a sweaty session with your hand. Number three, don't mention blood and hormones. Get this straight, if you aren't a doctor, don't. Just don't spill your scientific knowledge on us. Don't you think we'd know more about what's going on down there? For God's sakes, it's our body and we've been dealing with this bloody mess for years. Share your expert knowledge only if you want gruesome details about how things are flowing in the valley. And we mean a detailed description. Don't start this topic because soon you'll be cringing so hard and regretting the moment you opened your mouth and uttered the word hormone. Number four, acknowledge the pain. Dragging herself to the kitchen for a hot water bottle and screaming at the top of her voice, do you think it's fake? Of course, she is in immense pain, as much as she says. So don't you dare tell her that it's not a big deal. Have you been there? Experienced cramps in your abdomen while a red Niagara flows? No. Then just know that she isn't faking her pain for your time. She's got 100 other tricks up her sleeve to get your attention. No girl wants to look like trash to get attention. If you don't want your status to turn single, acknowledge her pain and do something to soothe her, or at least just shut up. Number five, don't touch her without consent. OMG, that's one rule you should always follow if you don't want to kick in the balls. Oops, it wasn't supposed to be so harsh. Are we PMSing? Don't answer that and don't touch us until, of course, we plonk ourselves on your lap ready for a cuddle. Your girl has no control over her hormones while she is on her period, so please don't go bonkers if she snuggles with you for an hour and then rewards you with a punch. Okay, that's too much to ask for, but the bottom line is proceed with caution. Take cues from her body language and then decide if you want to make love to her or sit on the far end of the couch so that not even your breath touches her. Number six provide her physical comfort. Wrap your arms around her and hug her softly. It can really help her feel better. In fact, just holding her hands can relieve some pain. But what you can best do to comfort her physically is a massage. Yes, put those hands to good use and give her a feet massage or a back rub. You have no clue how relaxing it can be. But if she says, stay away, you stay away. Just FYI, an orgasm goes a long way in easing menstrual cramps. So how about you give her a hand? Wait, you can even go all the way in her because, come on, it will soothe pain. Number seven, don't shy away from buying tampons. Girls generally plan ahead. 
and this is one monthly trip of her life that she is always prepared for. So probably she has a stash of tampons, sanitary pads, and painkillers tucked in the bottom drawer of her closet. But this red faucet can alarm us and start unexpectedly. What do you do when her period comes unannounced, and she is in so much pain that walking down to the store to buy the necessities is just not possible? You leave your shyness by the door and grab her some tampons or pads, whichever she prefers. Simple. Number 8. Help her with the chores. Getting her a glass of water from the refrigerator while she chills on the couch watching a rom-com won't kill you. But if she stabs a knife in your heart, um, you can't be too sure. Why would she do that? Well, if she has to do all the chores of the house with cramps, sucking the life out of her and mood swings blinding her thought process while you relax in your armchair sipping a beer, you can't blame her much. Tuck her in bed and set to work. Clean the dishes, do the laundry, and cook her a meal. She deserves it. Number 9. Don't restrict food options. With blood draining down south, bloating setting in the middle and fatigue gripping her tightly, preparing a meal becomes a big task. If you can cook for her, that's the best gift you can give her. But if not, you can always pick up food for her but ask her what she wants, because girls tend to have food cravings while they are on their period. Forget about healthy foods if she is craving junk, even if lettuce is good for her. And by no means are you asking her if she can eat all the food she's ordered because no matter how bloated she is, a double serving of her favorite dish is still easy to eat. Now, if you go completely blank for food options, here's the mantra, chocolate can never go wrong. Number 10. Be sexually available. Whoever said period sex is messy and gross probably never tried it. Fine, it may be messy, but it certainly is not gross. You can simply use extra sheets and clean it up after she's done, and yes, you do the cleaning. Or if you are too lazy for that, shower sex works best. The point is to not make excuses about not being sexually available for Bay when she is on her period. The hormones have gone for a toss, and she is not in much control of them. She is obviously not forcing you to make love to her, but if she is horny, doing what she wants, the way she wants, will help her through these tough days. Which of these things will you be doing to make your woman feel better during periods? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.